another delicious coffee alternative? Sure. Okay, so this is uh, from Belarus. It is a chicory alternative. So this, instead of coffee, this is made out of pure chicory. It says a lot on it, but it's all in... Cyrillic. Cyrillic. Good. <laughs> I was not gonna... I was gonna say Belarusian. Preparation, add hot water to one to two teaspoons of chicory, stir and enjoy. Well, I like chicory. Yeah, it doesn't give like an actual quantity of water to add, so it could be a cup, it could be f for an entire French press, uh, I'm guessing it's for a mug. So you've had chicory before? Yeah, I had chicory with those, um, the beignet donuts that they make in Louisiana. Oh, okay, so you've had like the, the Café du Monde yeah, uh, it wasn't, chicory coffee. It wasn't like at Café du Monde, but it was like that style. Of... See, that, that usually is uh, a blend. Like the chicory, I think, is was very often used to add to coffee to make it cheaper. So you... this will be chicory with no coffee. Yes, just straight right. chicory. So what is chicory? It's a root, right? It's, it's a root to this... flowers. This, yeah, yeah, there's... Flower? Yeah, purple there's this flower. I think so. It doesn't have a very strong smell. No, kind of dusty. Yeah, dusty. <coughs> Sorry. It's very it's pretty dusty. Okay, so the packet says one to two teaspoons. So we're gonna go with two. Cause generally these sorts of drinks end up being a little weak. It does have quite the uh, frothiness to it, but it's uh, yeah, a little hard to see how dark it is with all the foam, but it does, it does look like a coffee. Hmm. It smells like a little bit like soup. Really? I feel like it smells like a... What kind of soup? Like a vegetable soup. It smells so, like matches. Matches? <laughs> Sulfur, you mean? No, it smells like when a match has, like, a wooden match, has, like, burned down and, like, smells kind of like burning yeah. wood. Okay. So we've got burnt wooden matches, soup. What What are you going to add to the to the party? A leaf pile. It smells like a leaf pile. You know, like, <laughs> when you're done yeah. with it, there's a big w wet pile of wet autumn leaves. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that I get that. What kind of soup do you make? You just take some leaves from my backyard and just uh, throw them in. Oh, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, bad. it does have a plantiness. It's very planty. Yeah, it's very planty. I wouldn't say it tastes like the leaf pile that I was smelling, but there's some kind of like vaguely herbal botanical thing going on. Yeah, that's where the soup taste comes from, or the soup smell. It's herbal. I feel like this is maybe more bitter than coffee. It is more bitter, and I think also it doesn't have that oily richness that coffee has. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I would say is that it's maybe the same bitterness as strong coffee but without the additional richness yeah that coffee can have that this doesn't have a lot of complexity to it right right it's like this is bitter and herbal but it's lacking like all that depth that coffee has like the beanie taste the robustness like all of that is like it's lacking 
I can see why someone who wanted to save money decided to mix chicory with coffee. Yeah. Because it's a Very similar possible. enough flavor that you could do like half this and half coffee, and probably it wouldn't be that different from normal coffee. It would make coffee mm -hmm. go a lot further. Yeah. I think that's why this is popular in blends in general. Mm -hmm. It's like it was difficult to find chicory on its own, but it was not hard to find uh, chicory with barley or chicory mm. with uh, chickpeas. Or, you know, it's always chicory and something else, and I think that makes a lot of sense. Just because chicory on its own uh, leaves it's okay, but it leaves something to be desired. It would it, be better mixed with coffee. It doesn't or taste else. unlike gas station coffee. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, it Eek. is like when you drink some gas station coffee and it's like kind of funny, but you're like, it's fine, it's coffee. If you told me this was coffee and handed me this, I would think it was that kind of coffee. Wow, that looks like coffee. It does. Looks a lot like coffee. Ooh. It helps. That's, that's actually kind of nice. This tastes... Yeah like the coffee that I would drink when I was like six from the church basement that mm -hmm. I would put a lot of milk and sugar and it was not great coffee but this is actually I was transported back mm -hmm. to like styrofoam cups and like little <laughs> red yeah it's a little yeah. nostalgic for the crappy coffee of your past with you know, the milk and sugar makes it a little bit more like coffee, mm -hmm. but I can't get away from that herbal taste. That yeah, herbal it taste does is have the distinct. herbal. It's a distinct flavor that is not in coffee. Milk and sugar usually helps give you the illusion. This uh, yeah, actually makes it worse. It just takes it further away. Yeah, I think yeah. it makes it more pleasant, but it brings it into a weird territory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's give it a rating. Uh, scale of one to five where five coffee beans is a cup of coffee. It tastes just like a cup of coffee. One coffee bean does not taste like a cup of coffee. How many coffee beans would you give this? I'd give it like a four and a half. Four and a half. I would say that I have had coffee that tastes like this before. I have had coffee that tastes like this. So I'd say without the milk and sugar, it's a four. And with the milk and sugar, I'd take it down to a three and a half. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not going to be as generous. I think that if someone were to give this to me, I would realize it wasn't coffee. Would you say that just because you know what chicory tastes like, though? Mm, I don't think this actually tastes that much like the Cafe Du Monde coffee. I think that this yeah. this tastes more herbal than that. I think adding coffee to this makes a big difference. It makes you kind of it covers up that herbal taste. So I think without the coffee added to it, it actually tastes quite different. You're probably right. Just plain on its own, I would give it like a, like a three, hmm. like without the sugar and milk. With the milk and sugar, I think probably even a little bit lower than that. But maybe it's just because we have had such weird bad coffee. Before. See, you may have had coffee from a place that was, that was actually giving you chicory. It you may have that. been. <laughs> Maybe. You might be right, actually. Some yeah. of that awful... Come to think of it, since this is a money-saving thing, maybe some really cheap coffees are cut with this. Yeah. It's true. Since we've been making these videos, I've noticed it, too. Interesting. I've got... There's, like, one little deli that I live near that I swear put something in it that is not coffee. But you said four Sounds and a half, delicious. you said four, I said three? That makes it like a 3.75. 3.75, so let's just round it up to a four. So that's okay. actually pretty good. Yeah. So four out of five beans for uh, for the chicory coffee. Um, yeah, not bad if you want a substitute. If you want to make your own substitute that's a blend, worth picking yeah. up good foundation for it. Well, thanks guys. Bye-bye. Okay, I only have one minute, so I have to make this fast. Guys, uh, click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Click that bell 
I don't know what the bell does, but it probably gives an angel its wings, so click on it. That dislike button, don't click that one. Uh, go to the comments, leave a comment if you have something to say. Go to the description, because in the description there is a link to my Patreon page where you can help contribute to my channel and make it grow. There's also a link to my website where you can see a backlog of videos, more information, and also uh, you can buy a t-shirt at my website now. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to the channel Smarter Every Day, because Smarter Every Day is a mega contributor on Patreon. They're really helping me out. If you like what I'm doing with Fruit, check out his channel because it basically covers everything involving science. It's really interesting. Also around there, there should, be, there should be a couple of videos right here. These are the videos to my next week's episode, if it's up, and last week's episode, where you can check that out. I still have three seconds, guys, so thank you so much. Bye-bye.